I want to discuss elections in November. A lot of people came in first or second, and now their ego is eating them up, and especially certain Republican organizations or individuals that are loud and proud. Wake up. Being loud and proud online is not giving you votes. Get out there and register people. Get out there and talk to people. Get out there and build your mailing list, your email list, your cell phone list. Start a group and organization online, in person. Start having weekly meetings. Start building now. If you want to win an election, you might not win in November, but at least you start organizing today. So don't just be loud and proud because looking at the numbers, I do believe 97%, 98% of the Republican Democrat elected or uh, candidates that came in first and second will end up losing if you're a Republican just because of the numbers. So there are certain uh, Republican seats like Scott Wilk and Santa Clarita. Suzette, I think, is running there. She's going to end up maybe holding on to the first place, maybe winning. So there are seats that Republicans can win. Those are the ones that they should focus on. And also, they should hold on to their leads. It is a presidential election. Trump is going to be on the ballot, which means both sides are going to come out in forces. Both the progressives, Democrats will come out in forces so Trump doesn't get elected. And the Republicans are going to come out in forces because they want Trump elected. And the only question mark here is the minority vote, the Latino and blacks that are basically used to be for Biden and now are shifting towards Trump. However, are they educated enough on all the other seats? And do they know who to vote for in those other seats? Or are they just going to vote for Trump and everything else Democrat? You know, things don't change when you do that. So every seat, every region, every office, every candidate counts. So educate yourself on every candidate. Educate yourself on every judge. Educate yourself on the elections. Vote knowingly, not just for a party or ABC or the woman candidate, or this. We're not going to get anywhere here in L.A. and here in California and here in the United States. So get involved, get united, get in the know. So God bless you, love always prevails, and follow us for some more information.